Hello everyone, my name is Joni and welcome to Love Qualified TV. I am a Christian romance author, entrepreneur and author coach living in London. Today's vlog is going to be a writing vlog, but I am not staying at home. I've actually left the house today and I'm going into London. I'm meeting a friend of mine who is also an author. I met her at a, an event that I went to recently. If you haven't seen the last writing vlog or author vlog, then I would really, really encourage you to go and watch that. In that vlog, I said that I met a author friend, another author friend of mine. She's also a writer. So I did plan to meet up with her at Clapham Junction. So this is where we got to. When you get out of the station, we walked down the Clapham Junction. This is the street. And then we found a coffee shop. We found a pret a manger and we sat there and we had some food and we talked. Um, by the way, I am the authors of uh, four romance books at the moment and two devotionals. I just wanted to put that out there just in case you didn't know. And this author friend of mine has also been writing since she was really young. It was really nice because we sat there and we just shared our stories. It was very inspirational. We talked a lot about where we started with writing, you know, where we're at at the moment in our journey. And just the fact that, you know, that we are both um, of African descent and we're both Christians and the fact that we both live in the UK, we live in London. I don't really have many friends um, in person, like, you know, in actual London who are also authors as well. And she's the first author friend that also writes, writes Christian fiction. So it was just really, really nice to chat to her. We only spend about an hour and a half talking and it was not long at all, but she had to leave because she had to go back for a work meeting, but that was really, really nice. And we are going to be meeting again soon by God's grace. But anyway, after she left, I stayed back and I worked on my story. So if you don't know, I'm working on the first book in my next Christian romance series. This first book will hopefully be published next year. The series is called Love and Other Things and I'm working on book one at the moment. In this coffee shop, I was working on chapter 24. So I finished writing the first scene of chapter 24. This was in the male character's point of view. We have, we are past the fun and games part of the book so we are actually approaching the part of the book where things start to go wrong um and there's trouble in the love in the love land yeah <laughs> and so um basically i just had to write um the the reaction scene basically from the male character's point of view and i really enjoyed writing that so after my writing session on my way back to the train station, I saw a water stones. And of course, I'm a writer. I love books. So I, I walked in, even though I don't really buy like physical books, I only read ebooks. Um, it was just really nice to see some books that I see on Instagram, like to see them in real life. Again, these are all romance books that I don't read because these are most likely steamy romance books. Um, all these mainstream romance books, I don't read any of them, but I just loved looking at the beautiful illustrated covers. They're quite nice. I also saw some books that are very popular on TikTok. So there's Fourth Wing there um, and then Powerless and Reckless. These are all like fantasy books, I think, which I don't really read fantasy and I don't read this kind of fantasy. It will be only Christian fantasy that I'm willing to try. But anyway, I didn't see any of that. Guys, I just got back home and excuse the noise of the washing machine in the background but um these two snacks if you're cameroonian and you grew up in cameroon and you don't know these two snacks then i don't know what to tell you anyway my mom went to cameroon um she spent two weeks there she got back from cameroon recently and i asked her to bring me these snacks if you, some of you don't know i actually grew up in cameroon um i lived there for 15 years um, before moving to the UK and this used to be one of my favorite snacks to be honest the packaging has changed and the taste has changed a little bit but this brings back so many childhood memories and this one as well is one of my favorite biscuits I used to take this to boarding school all the time um, the taste is still the same and it brings back so many memories yeah I just really really 
enjoyed um, these snacks and I do enjoy them now the reason I bring them up is because um, especially this one is gonna feature in my book um, so if you do read the story that I'm writing someday look out for the mention of mambo chocolate which is a Cameroonian brand so yeah I'm gonna have these snacks and then I need to have a call with my best friend then we're gonna do some more writing so I just finished chapter 24 it is currently 5 11 p.m. and I think I'm gonna end it for the day when it comes to writing but I wanted to update you guys with the numbers our current word count is 61,605 which means that we have currently surpassed 60,000 words I am so happy because my um, target was 70,000 but I think we're gonna hit that like very soon but we're nowhere near <laughs> like the end of the book um yeah so we're nowhere near the end of the book but anyway we're making progress um i have added some chapters to the book and so rather than me having 10 or 11 chapters it used to be 35 chapters and then the epilogue but now it's 38 chapters and then the epilogue because i've added three more chapters because i feel like it will help the third act to not appear to be too rushed um, so I hope that that would help the third act to, you know, be more, more rounded and to have like a satisfied ending, but I'm excited. And, um, I just wanted to say that, yeah, that's where we're at with love and other things. Book one, I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm going to end it here and I'm going to have some dinner so that I can rest for the rest of today. Next time I'm going to be going out again into london um there's a different coffee shop that i want to try in waterloo station and this is actually going to be a coffee shop that one of my like my characters go to to write um so i'm gonna take you guys there i couldn't go there today so um yeah but that's fine i'll take you guys there the next time let me know what you guys think about these london vlogs and if you want more of them or this london writing vlogs if you want to see more of them let me know where you're at in your writing journey and yeah and i would love to know what you're working on let me know if you have any questions about being an author then do let me know would love to talk about it in the comments remember that the sovereign love of the one true god has qualified you to be his beloved one take care and god bless you Mwah. bye